What is going on, y'all, and welcome back for some more Valheim. I am your host, Unknown Factions, and thank you for joining me. And today, we shall be going over 10 tricks that you did not know, or hopefully you don't know at least some of them, because I know some of you guys are just as about this game as I am. But if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And besides that, let's get on with it. So first off, moat defense is an extremely important part of Valheim when defending your base from mobs and events and such. So, But did you know that you can drag leeches over from neighboring biomes and fill them in your moats and they will not despawn as long as they weren't spawned during an event. And then you can just harshly drag in enemy mobs that walk up and they will be devoured. But be sure to dig it deep enough to where they can't walk around and attack back otherwise they'll die too. Next up, the bucket of berries. Now, if you're trying to fill up your empty longhouse, you can always do this simple trick right here and add buckets of all different types of vegetation into your house. So we're gonna place a block off the wall around the height that we want, and then we're just gonna go through and kind of click and turn in place and just make a little cluster. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's not too wide, it won't clip outside of the bucket. So we just fill all these up real fast. Doo -doo -doo. And then next we're just going to knock this stuff away and take out the floor. That way we can lower the bucket down a little bit. That way it allows to place it. And now we can come back and fill it in. Just like that. And boom. There you have it. Buckets full of berries. And you can do this with mushrooms and weapons too and stuff. So you can put whatever you want in these forge coolers with this trick right here. Have So you have fun with that one. Next. Now everybody knows you can kite trolls around, but did you know that if you tag all your copper deposits, you can take one of these big boys right here and quickly gather up hundreds of copper in like half an hour. These one stars right here with the log can even destroy the deposits underneath the ground. And you can do this early on too and collect birch wood, you know, before you even have a copper axe to gather it. So keep that in mind, a handy tip right there. Also, if you find yourself exploring and you run into a swamp and maybe you left your key at the house or maybe even before you kill the elder and you don't have the swamp key, you can still get in with this trick right here. As you've seen, I placed down the wooden chair and you can sit in it and you just move fast. If you let your character sit all the way back, he won't go through because this is kind of an older trick and it's been patched, but it still works, obviously. So as you see, if you let your guy sit all the way back, he won't go in. But if you hop in and just go right for it, you'll pop right in. So it's a good trick to have in your tool bag. So don't forget. Next up, the infinite earth. Now by using a whole bunch of sertaline trophies, this has 20 sertaline trophies in it. And you can go through and make yourself a beautiful earth that won't go out. You can make it as tight and decorative as you like right there as you see. And it won't add any comfort, but it still adds a ton of light. And you don't have to refill it. Also, same note, you can fill the side wall right there on top with sertaline trophies and then overlap it with boarding glass to have inlaid fire into your windows, which also adds light to the outside that doesn't draw gray dwarfs and light on the inside that you don't have to refill. So double win-win for that one as well. And also, did you know that by adding four boards of iron inside of your house you can raise up your blast furnace to the second story without needing stone and pop it out the roof to make these legit chimneys like you see before you right there making for badass screenshots of your longhouses whenever you're smelting besides that you still have to vent your smoke though next up this is kind of an older trick but still works and super handy and i try to use it as much as possible now these floating letters off your sign all you got to do is place a sign and then you type whatever you want so we're going to do or and then we add a ton of spaces at the end and it will push the text right off the board and it does kind of pop it out a little bit so you can use this to inlay it and hide the board however you like and you know there is a maximum character limit so you can only push it over so far but I mean, any farther than that, it's unnecessary. So you can hide it like I did up top by inlaying it. Or if you're doing like single chests, like on the inside of these doors, you might have to lay some boards down in between them and then you can pop over on each side of the chest. But very handy for when labeling your chests and you have a lot of people on your server, you want to do just digging all through. Next up, 
you want to add some things into your side of your oven you can add heads to scare some of your fellow vikings when they come over or you just throw some pies in there to add some new color to your room all you gotta do is match the height of the oven rack right there as you see and then we're gonna knock the oven out the way and place down some horizontal item stands so that is our lowest possible point right there that we tagged on the side i'm just gonna raise it up a little bit so that the item stand blends into the grill itself so you won't see the little brown square down there Boom. place them down just like that throw our pies on there boom looks like lox pie casserole and then we're gonna knock these boards out and the oven will support these item stands you just got to get it down fast enough before something breaks boom there you go and now you have untouchable lox pies mounted inside your oven as you can see the controls to the oven will pop up instead of grab item off the item stand i think it's cool it's cool when you put heads in there too they kind of just pop out at you, you can so have fun with that one as well. Next up, you want to show your Viking sensitive side a little bit. You want to add a dandelion bouquet to your table, maybe mount some flowers in a cup somewhere. Well, with this trick right here, we're going to take four of the vertical item stands, face them in so that the knobs on the boards are all just slightly touching or overlapping. And then we're going to go and fill it with Grey Dwarf Brute Trophies. So go all the way around. Boom, and it'll give us this nice little cross base with all the dandelions facing inward towards each other. Might be a little hard to hit some of them, but you'll get it if you walk around it. Boom, and once you have this, we can just overlay it with a table. And as you see, as long as the item stands are touching the table, you can knock the boards out from beneath it, and it'll leave the item stands supported by the table. Boom, but I hope you guys got something from this. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because I am dropping Valheim videos weekly. I appreciate you guys watching and I will catch you in the next one.